I think sometimes the changes that are needed when you're recovering from burnout are a little bit against the grain. It's really hard to move beyond burnout on your own. So my huddle is all about bringing together people with shared experience of burnout to support each other and test and share some new ways of moving beyond burnout, hopefully for good. Hello. Um, so we're going to be doing a couple of chats with hosts of the upcoming huddles over the next few months. Huddles, as a reminder, are purposeful peer groups that put relationships at the heart of learning together over the course of about four to six months. And today I'm joined by Rebecca. Rebecca, how are you today? I'm well, thanks, Dan. Yeah, thumbs out. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. Um, should we start with just hearing a little bit more about you? Well, hi, everyone. I'm Rebecca. I live in Epping Forest with my two cats, a bit of an unmanageable collection of houseplants and my partner, Tim. I am a coach and a designer and a forest school teacher in training. My background's really, really mixed. Um, I started off in youth work, which means that I'm much better at ping pong and dance routines than I should be. My real passion is working with individuals and groups to help them feel awesome. Um, so I help people to grow their confidence, develop their leadership style, um, and generally help them to balance their work and life. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. I feel like I'm very curious about these dance routines. <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> so it'd be great to just hear a little bit more about your huddle, um, Rebecca. What's, what's it about? Who is it for? And what brought you to host this huddle? Well, my huddle is called Beyond Burnout. It's for women as self-identified who are stuck in cycles of burnout or near burnout. Right now we're seeing burnout rates sort of go through the roof and it's affecting women the hardest, particularly women who are sort of at the front lines of our energy and climate crisis. For a lot of us, it's feeling a lot harder than ever to balance work and life and purpose as well. So my huddle is all about bringing together people with shared experience of burnout to support each other and test and share some new ways of moving beyond burnout, hopefully for good. It'll be all about going slow, nourishing our bodies, and I'll be there to lift people up and hold their hands as the host. Mm. And it all kicks off with a off-grid retreat uh, in an ancient woodland in Salisbury, and then is followed by four months of cozy peer support which will be happening mainly remotely wow it sounds it sounds amazing and mm. also totally needed right now like i'm definitely hearing those signals of burnout um so much more these days noticing mm. a lot yeah but i guess maybe for for people watching who don't know much about burnout or what it is um yeah can you just say maybe a little bit about what what is burnout how do how do i know if i'm burnt out yeah. absolutely yeah well, I'm not the expert, but um, I have a lot of my own experience. Um, I think the first thing to say is burnout is really, really misunderstood. Nowhere near enough research on it yet. Um, but typically, burnout results from chronic and long-term stress. Stress at work often plays a really large part. But there can be other factors too, like financial strain, relationship strain, housing insecurity, I think. Um, certainly for most people at the core of burnout is the experience of unmanageable demands that are piling up feeling burdened or overwhelmed by what's expected of you mm. and the symptoms are really different for everyone but feeling like bone tired big one feeling a bit depressed or anxious particularly related to work feeling lacking of motivation struggling to sleep and then quite a lot of health issues can quite often come alongside so when we're having a strong stress response, quite often those hormones will override our, override our gut or our immune system. And in this modern world, our stress triggers are everywhere. They're on our phone, they're on our screen. It can be really hard to regulate those stress responses. And so often we get a little bit stuck in that flight or flight response. I wonder what um, what is it about the huddle process um, that as a learning maybe journey or format what about that makes it kind of good to sort of explore this burnout um mm. thing for you well I'm massively biased because I've done two huddles myself one was with you Dan 
2020. Um, and both of my huddles had a well-being focus, but my second was really instrumental in giving me like permission from the group to slow down um, because I burnt out halfway through my second learning marathon. Um, and like with the help of the group, I sort of figured out some little everyday rituals to support my burnout recovery. And I suppose I've been sitting on and developing the idea of the huddle ever since. I think sometimes the changes that are needed when you're recovering from burnout are a little bit against the grain. And it's really important that people have support um, with their journey. I think the peer to peer element of Huddlecraft is so important. And we've got so much to learn and share from each other's experience. It's really hard to move beyond burnout on your own. Um, we're also just not really talking about burnout that much. It's still a little bit of a mystery. Like we're talking about mental health and women's health more generally, which is really good and makes me feel hopeful. It helps so much and just for people to feel heard and feel understood and feel believed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's sort of one of those things that feels a bit hidden. It's like people, yeah, or maybe there's just it helps so much and just for people to feel heard and feel understood and feel believed yeah um, yeah having experienced like you just said some of the ritual design that you brought into the previous huddle that we did together yeah I'm excited for the people that join your huddle you know? what are your other hopes for this huddle I think to feel a bit lighter for people to reconnect with who they are and just find a bit of joy together with others have a giggle be cozy um connect with nature i think the main thing i want people to come away with is that they don't need to be on the burnout roller coaster for life and that you can be ambitious and caring and purposeful and you don't need to sacrifice your health for it mm -hmm. i really like for people to have like a different relationship with burnout like learning to go slow and say no and it's like learning to go slow aren't just good stuff for burnout recovery it's like good stuff for life yeah I also love how you've redesigned the huddle sort of process to really suit this theme and the exploration it feels like you've given it space like nourishing kind of time in nature yeah really really loving how you've done that thank you Dan so I guess any any other last words for people that might be thinking about joining your huddle just be in touch email me have a chat sign up for the newsletter have a look at the website um I'm always up for a burnout chat even if you don't decide to be part of the program mm. I'm a burnout geek <laughs> <laughs> awesome on that note yeah so I guess people can find out more through the website and we'll share a link to that and um yeah really encourage people to reach out to you to chat and you've also got an awesome newsletter that i've signed up to with some lovely sort of burnout related well-being content that you're sharing so thanks rebecca lovely to chat thank you dan hope to be in touch with anyone that feels interested awesome take care